Well, we survived our first full morning today of the I-465 closure on the city's southeast side. But now without a few backups and delays, check out these images from the morning rush. Yeah, our in-dot cameras here caught these slowdowns throughout the entire morning. And tonight at 6.02, <laughs> we're going to keep a close eye for you on any delays for the evening rush hour. Yeah, so this is really the first real test of what's in store for drivers. This is what we're going to be facing in these key traffic times over the next couple of weeks. Mary Mills is out driving around the closure tonight and joins us live with uh, what she's experiencing right now. Mary? Well, we're not moving very fast, I can tell you that. We are on I-65 North just past Raymond inside the loop. Uh, this is one of the ways around the 465 closure. It's normally a pretty busy area, but it seems especially slow right now. If you're thinking, wow, a lot of road construction this summer, you're not alone. Car scenes zipping by a turn they might normally make. Getting on 465 North at Washington, it's closed. That's because the north and eastbound lanes of 465 on the southeast side are shut down for road repairs. In 11 days, MnDOT will do it all over again in the southbound lanes. Those who spend a lot of time on the road say it's been a frustrating summer. It seems like every week, two or three times, it's like, oh, I got to find a new detour around this path. So. It's been kind of crazy. Turns out he's right. INDOT has shut down portions of three major interstates in Marion County this year, spending a record $90 million on road repairs in Indy. It's work funded by the 10 cent increase in the gas tax that took effect two years ago. And if you're wondering why do it this way, why do a full closure, why not just close a lane or two like they normally do? Well, INDOT says it lets them do more work in a shorter period of time, but it does mean that you're sitting in traffic like this. Also, though, should point out that they say this is the last big construction project of the year. So keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, that yeah, is we all the are. very good oh, news. Yes. All right. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> As you mentioned earlier, no pain, no gain. <laughs> we got to go through it a little bit for a final, you know, conclusion benefit. of it all. Yeah, for a better benefit. <laughs> well, tonight, before you leave the house tomorrow morning, make sure to tune in to Sunrise with Mimi Pierce. She will have all of the problem spots to avoid and the best detours to keep you from being late. You can catch her first report at 5 a.m. on Sunrise.